Hey guys, Mike from Mountain Slayers here, and this is our Jeep Rubicon Unlimited 4x4. Beautiful trails. Great for walking. What's been done to it? Well, first thing you need with tracks is some heavy steering. This is a lot of weight to move, especially when you're getting stuck. So we opted with a PSC high flow steering pump. We quickly figured out we're also going to need a high flow steering box as well as a ram assist. It really comes in handy when you start to get sucked off the trail. You've got a hydraulic arm that can force your steering one way or the other in sticky situations. Ain't no beating now. It's a 3.8 liter V6. It definitely does the job, delivers the right power and the right bands, handles the tracks really well. Underneath, she's got a four inch lift, makes working under it a little bit easier. The Rubicon Unlimited comes with Dana 44 axles, both front and rear. When you find yourself stuck in a very sticky situation, you gotta have something dependable. So we trust the one to get us out. You've got added trans cooling for when you're towing, because that groomer can get loaded down with thousands of pounds of snow. We had to cut the grill a little bit, but shh, don't tell anybody. Ah, can't forget that super cold air intake. Some may call them a warm air intake, but uh, as you can see, there ain't very much warm air around here. We've opted for the Mattrack 105 M1. Wow. Figured it's going to be the best fit. We do a little bit of driving on car, but really not too much at all. The tread is absolutely awesome. The size and shape fit very well for our application, even over the deep snow, even over the obstacles. They can really handle it all. The giant cogs lay down in massive torque, and the bogey wheels are very, very durable. We've actually had a mountain break before. Mat track ripped up this area. All fixable. Just a little hindrance. But it did chew up the track a little bit. After a few scenarios on mountains with ice, you opted to put picks in it. These aren't factories, they're just some screws that have been picked up and uh, strategically put in various spots. All four set up like that. Let's head on inside the captain's seat. So we got the temp gauge, we got trans cooler, and we have video optics. So at night you can see what you're doing back there. And that is how we keep the trails absolutely perfect and groomed to condition. Here, you can see the controller for the hydraulics. Pretty simple. You know, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. You got light bar control, more light bar control. Rocking the automatic transmission. Because you know, sometimes you just want to be lazy up there. When you come to the back, first thing you'll notice is the lift system. All hydraulic assists, all custom designed, and all very, very simple. Just 
got your quick disconnects here and you got your ram there here's our high flow hydraulics box complete with the reservoir kit everything all in one even the valving controls just got that off amazon and a pretty standard hydraulic piston we usually keep something like an extra rope extension cord chain saws jump cables hand tools you name it anything goes in the back that we can take with us here you can admire jeep's built-in roll cage it's just awesome you know there's not much better platforms to start with they've even got a subwoofer in here for us so we like our tunes Rear light bar for visibility, camera. We have no problems with visibility. This thing will light up the sky for miles as she's coming down the trail. Now the final, most important piece of this puzzle is our drag. This is all made out of steel that we got from our local steel yard. I drew up a plan, went with what we know, past experience. Looked at some professional companies who build rags for a living, and we're able to come up with this. So using the hydraulics at the front, we can raise and lower the front depending on how much bite we want. Show me. come on a bunch of moguls, lower it, chops those right up, it flattens them down in the pan. If we come up to a spot we've already done and it looks great, just keep it level. We've got the bumpers on the front, what happens is this will swing around and you don't want it to catch a tree in the front or catch your tire, so it hits with this end. It's one of those things you learn from experience. There's that posy lock. Hell yeah. As you come down here, you get the short riser, a couple of hooks on them, emergencies. And then you've got your ever important runners. So these make sure you're tracking straight. Otherwise this thing will swing around in the back. It's got your little sign for awareness. And as you can see, we often use this to tow cargo. The real plan is to put the ZR200 on it. So that little snowmobile. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. We'll be right on the back of here as a recovery vehicle in case the worst happens. You know, you fall through the ice and you need to escape. Grab your little sled, pull it off, and you're right away. Trust me, a recovery vehicle can take a life or death situation and make it another normal fun night. Oh, hello, you come to interrupt my video here. What are you doing? Oh, you got a big, oh, you got a big snowball. Okay, I'll just do it with the dogs around. We did away with the heavy stock muffler system. I want to just a straight pipe. It's better for a few reasons. First of all, the people on the trail can hear you easier. Second of all, it just sounds cooler. <laughs> All right, well, that is everything we have done for our Jeep RubeCon Unlimited 4x4 to make it a groomer for the trails out here in Northern Maine. If you guys are interested in supporting volunteer local groomers, check out our channel at Mountain Slayers. Remember to have fun out there and be safe. See you later, guys.
me the ring. 